Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's here. Hey, what's going on, guys? So I've been getting a lot of questions about routines and what you can do while players are locked down, not able to get outside still. I know some states are starting to open it up, but up here in Massachusetts, we still can't go to parks and do anything. So we're just going to go through like a simple thing that uh, Maddie likes to do. And uh, we're going to start off with the T. I think the biggest thing first off is just do whatever you can do. So some people don't have T's and nets and, and all this stuff. So just get creative. Even if it just comes down to taking dry swings is better than nothing. But we'll talk about some of the things that we do. So we'll start off with T just to get loose. So yeah, you want to start swinging away? So he'll just hit, and a couple of things that I do for him, because he's only five and he's just, you know, he's really young, is, so we were just messing around with where his foot placement should be. And the good thing on pavement, I just took a little rock or some chalk and just put a little line where his back foot should go. So now he knows where to set up his back foot and that'll get him into position to be able to hit this ball to the middle of the field. But some guys, especially young kids, you know, like his age, they don't know where to stand on the tee. You want when your front foot lands it should be about even with the tee for a ball down the middle so then i just put the line so he knows how to set up and now you know as he continues to do this whoops keep that to me buddy as he continues to do this he'll get a feel now since i've set him up in the right spot and then we won't have to put the line very much longer go for it nice We'll just do a couple of regular tea. And so I get asked a lot too about swing mechanics and stuff. So he's only five years old, like I said, and so I don't I don't really tell him very much at all about mechanics. You'll see sometimes he'll swing and he'll spin around and all this stuff. The only things I've really ever told him with hitting to this point, like real simple stuff about setting up and alignment and stuff. Um, but I just say, swing the bat hard. Like, try to hit the ball hard. He's too young for me to talk about mechanics and have him kind of understand. Now, there's some small stuff like we talked about, like set up a little bit. Oh, one more. But I don't want to coach, I don't want to confuse him at such a young player. I just want him to be able to hit, have fun. You know, if, if his swing is getting out of whack, where just let's say he's swinging like this and hitting everything into the ground, well then I'll just tell him where to hit the ball, so he can hit the ball a little bit higher. If he's doing this and losing his barrel and way under the ball and he's missing everything, then I'll tell him to try to hit the ball more down. So it's like simple things like that, as far as ball flight. Let me grab that rock again. Why? Because I'm gonna show them something. So one more thing you can do, guys, put your back foot in that spot, buddy. So one thing you can do if you have a, a piece of chalk or something in the pavement is just draw a line. So like, if I draw that line right there, if you have a player that's maybe striding really close or striding way open, like that'll be an easy way for me to be able to see what he's doing, but then also for him to look down afterwards and see. Okay, let's do one more regular swing. Put that back foot right on that line again. There you go. Nice. Okay, you want to go to some other stuff now? All right, so I like to start off the tee again so that he can just kind of think about his swing and doesn't have to worry about timing or any of that, just gets to get his swing in, Daddy, Daddy. hit the ball hard. Okay, so now after we do the tee, then you can progress to soft toss. You can just flip it or like we use this Louisville Slugger uh, automatic flipper right here, which is really cool. Um, I like drills where the ball's coming from the side because it forces the hitter to stay on the ball. But if the ball's coming here and they pull off there, they'll have a tendency to miss it, which they'll do every now and then. But it's good training just to be able to stay on the ball. All right, you ready? So we'll turn it on. You get about 10 seconds, or you can, you can set it how you want, but we go about 10 seconds between flips. So you see, especially for like a for like him and his age kids, how he'll want to kind of go that way sometimes. So this is good just to work on 
driving the ball through the middle of the net. So usually work like that side. And again, like if I'm coaching him, I don't really say very much at all. I know sometimes it's hard. Um, people say like, I, you know, I want to help him and tell him what he's doing wrong and everything. I feel like if I'm telling him every swing what he's doing wrong, he's going to hate baseball. <laughs> so that's an important thing. He doesn't want to listen to me. Tell him how to... I know you listen to me. You do a great job listening, buddy. But he probably wouldn't want to listen to me telling him instructions every swing. You ready? You might be a little close, but again, try it. Get a coach at Little old school close stance. Oh, now he's going to some open stance. Nice swing. So today's kind of just like basic stuff, and then we'll we'll add in some new drills. You know, I'll do a bunch of updates every couple of days of new drills. Two more. We're supposed to get rain, thunderstorms moving in here in a few minutes, so. Pull up. Yeah. What? Okay. okay, a couple more. So we don't have a whole lot of time today. What happens if you try to drive two right through here? Hit, hit as hard as you can through that part of the net. All right, hold on. Just hit them. Don't don't try to overswing. Just hit them hard, like right here. So if there was a line down the middle of the net. Try to hit right there. If you can do that? Yeah. Alright, let's try a couple. But I gotta go close to the end. Nope, go, go back where you normally are, right there. Now try to drive it right to that, higher than that. Nice, try that again. Same thing, try to drive it hard, right through there. Last one. <sighs> Same thing, right through there, hit it hard. Nice. So again, like I don't want to take any aggressiveness out of him. I want him to hammer the ball. He loves hitting the ball hard. So now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go with these like light flight balls and he's going to use this skinny light wiffle ball bat, <laughs> in case you can't see. Um, so I like mixing up the weights of the bats. We do it with all of our anti baseball players. We go overload, underload. For him, this normal bat that he uses, so this bat right here is probably too big for him um, because he is so young, but, <laughs> so it's hard to get an underload bat for such a young kid, so we're just gonna use the wiffle ball bat. He's gonna be able to swing this bat way faster than the normal bat, which is good. Get himself moving as quick and as fast as possible. Ready? Hi, Mia. Hi, Mia. Okay, ready? Nice. Out of way. Good swing. So he does regular swings with a normal bat. Now he can do some really light wiffle ball swings. Good swing. I just want to get him moving fast. Plus, I find that he, put that back foot right there. There you go, dude. Plus, it kind of keeps it refreshing for him because he gets to switch bats. It's a little bit more fun for him. I went a little no stride there. A little Beau Bichette, two strikes. <laughs> two strikes swing. Do you want to do a couple more of these? Take little sweet birdies. Oh, cool. You want to do a couple more swings with us? <laughs> you're really shy with the camera, aren't you? Huh? You want to do a couple more? What did you say? I said you're really shy with the camera. What's that mean? 
That means you don't like being in front of the camera, huh? You're gonna be a movie star when you get older? Huh? Nothing. All right, ready? Let's try a couple more. There we go. Same thing. I did a couple homers this round. Nice. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Okay, other advice like for young kids try to hit it right in that yeah try to grab this one right over here some other advice for young kids is one thing I I noticed with him is that it's hard sometimes if you tell him to try something different Try but, one hand. Uh, go one hand on. But if I show him what to do, he's pretty good at mimicking what I do. That's pretty good, dude. He's pretty good at mimicking what I do. And so if you can show videos of really good hitters, I noticed even when he was really young, you know, like if we were watching a game and I showed him a hitter on TV, he would mimic them pretty quickly. So if you're able to show them, if you if you feel like you have a pretty decent swing. I got swing, a rain drop on my face. Yeah, it's starting to rain, so. Let's go one more home run, and then we'll get out of here. We'll have to continue this tomorrow, because we're going to get some pretty bad thunderstorms here in a minute. But if, you, if your swing is good, and you feel like that will show them, um, you know, what you want to show them, then fine. If not, then grab, you know, maybe go online and find uh, a couple of really good swings. Turn the TV on, put on MLB Network or ESPN. Just let them watch. What are you doing, dude? Just let them watch and that'll help also. So that's um, just a couple of quick things there today. We're gonna build on this. I wanted to do a little bit more today, but we're not able to with the rain coming. So we'll put up more drills every day Daddy. and uh, we'll do some defensive Daddy. stuff and some running stuff. Help. I'm doing a plank here. Oh, sorry, he's, he's doing a plank here. <laughs> <laughs> What do you need help? You want me to stand on your back? Uh, yeah. Good. Okay, stay right there. <laughs> All right. Oh, you're cheating. You're on your knees. I'm not on it. <laughs> Good job. We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.